Hey everyone, today I have a first impression and swatching of this cute little set. This is called Superior, that's what the package says, but on the website, I got it from Amazon.com, it's called the Sun's Healer or the Sun Sheeler <laughs> watercolor paint set. These are the 18 pastel watercolors. There are other sets with more traditional colors, but I was interested in the pastel ones because, I don't know, they're a little bit more special and I just didn't feel like I needed, well, there's no needing of any watercolors here for like the next 20 years, but I don't know, I just, I thought at this point I'm kind of more interested in finding, I guess, more unique sets because yeah, I just don't want another basic set. I hope that makes sense. But you can find other reviews online for the basic sets if that's something more interesting to you. Uh, for me also, I have really come to the conclusion that, first of all, I don't travel so much on the go. Uh, I mostly uh, paint at home. Did I say travel so much on the go? I meant I, I don't paint <laughs> as much. <laughs> so I don't really need a lot of portable sets, but um, when I do, I really prefer to have big pans of kind of juicy paint, which I can get, I can get it wet without worrying about making a mess and drying things up. And what really works for me are either the regular traditional metal tins, or I took uh, last time I went out and thought I would paint, I took the uh, White Knights 12 full pan set and that really works well for me. I tend to use a lot of water and these type of like super portable uh, compact sets are just, they just don't work well for my personal style and needs. So just putting it out there um, to give you an idea of what I'm looking for. As for this set, it is really compact. It feels very nice. It's very sturdy. I I am really impressed for the price. This costs $13 on Amazon. And as I've said, you can find uh, different sets. Uh, this particular one with the pastel colors uh, comes in a pink plastic case or a blue one. And of course I got the pink. <laughs> so. It also comes with a cute little water brush, which I personally hate, not because it's not good, it works just as well as my other water brushes. It's just not, I I need more control and for the most part, I need more water. So again, this goes back to my personal preferences, but it works well. I don't like the super compact size of the brush, but yes, it definitely makes the whole set very, uh, small and compact. So there's the little sponge at the top, which is okay for kind of wiping your brush and cleaning it. And then there's uh, a mixing tray at the bottom, which works really well. I mean, the whole thing I think is really, really well made and really functional. The colors seem lovely. You can see the color range. I think the one thing missing here is a yellow and like a banana yellow, you know, if you're, if you're going for a pastel set, then obviously you want those colors. And maybe also a red. Um, you can see that it's very focused on the pinks and the purples and the blues, which is okay, you know, I really like those colors, but I do feel like it could have used also a nice, softer yellow and red or like a coral shade. So I'm not 100% convinced about their color choices here. I think the set is really, really cute. I think it would be a great gift for a teenager perhaps, or even, yeah, like a very young teenager also, uh, even though, you know, I am past my teenage years, <laughs> way, way past them. And yeah, it was fun for me to play with this. Um, I think 
it's a fun set for like coloring maybe little images or if you do light washes of watercolor it's very cute I think it delivers on what it promises the quality seems you know really good for the price I'm not sure I will be reaching so much for this set just because I tend to work more loose, more wet, and I don't know if it'll work for me. The only similar product I have in my stash to this one is the Prima Pastel Dreams set. And I have to say that personally, I find the Prima set a little bit more appealing because it comes in that traditional watercolor tin with those traditional half pan watercolors and you can move it around, you can change your palette, customize it, and the colors are quite similar to these. It's a little bit of a different color range, but I do think the, the Prima set has some good color choices with the exception of the two browns that they included in the set, which do nothing for me. <laughs> so if you have the Prima set, I really doubt you need also this one. Uh, but if you're really curious, you really want to try um, a set of pastel watercolors, you can see the colors are really pretty. It's super cute. It's good value. Uh, I was playing around here trying to mix a few colors, obviously with pastel colors and a lot of the shades here, they're already opaque. They already have white in them. A lot of these colors are uh, secondary or tertiary colors. So if you try to mix new colors, you get a lot of kind of muddy shades, but I did come up with some really pretty shades. You can get some really pretty semi-neutrals there. Um, some of the fuchsia colors, those hot pinks are quite intense and not as pastel as the others. All in all, I enjoyed it. I think it's a fun product. I will definitely have to play with it some more and see how it works with my style of drawing and art journaling and all that. I will keep you updated and tell you what I think about this set after I use it a bit more. If you're interested in it, I'll put a link in the description box and you can look at all the different sets available. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.